Welcome to ASMTG, and I have to say, I have aggro on the brain. So ever since Friday when we did our mono red aggro, and I decided that is the best, best of one deck we have in our current standard, our best aggro deck, I've been thinking of other ways. How can we incorporate with other colors? So on Tuesday, we went with some Boris aggro. And then yesterday, we went with Gruul aggro, and today we're going with Rakdos aggro. I wanna just try and take kind of that mono red, and let's blend in some other colors and see how effective it is. So let's go ahead and take a look at the list. So Evolve Sleeper is a great one drop that could grow in the game. Now early game and typically in an aggro deck, it doesn't really pop off because you don't want to spend that extra mana to make it bigger, but it does give you a little bit of versatility. Spiteful Hex Mage, because we're, our, we're gonna go with a little bit of a roll theme in this one, just a very slight one to hopefully draw some cards. But if you play this down, after you play the Evolve Sleeper, you put that token on the Evolve Sleeper, which is already a 1-1, one, one, and now you just have a 3-2 for one mana. Because we have so many one drops, a lot of times on turn one, you could get your drop, then on turn two, you could get two more one drops out there. If we have the Kamano turn one though, that is always our number one option. That is what we want to drop. We got the Swift Spear, we already know how good that is. We have Monstrous Rage, which I absolutely love. Must craft for everybody. Throw this in all your aggro decks. We're gonna go with Candy Grapple, one. I like to play with new cards over our go for the throat. But two, we wanna see how versatile it is. How many times when we're playing would we wish we had go for the throat over this? But there's a lot more artifacts in the format these days. So a sheltered, right? People say, well, this skill's a sheltered. Well, so does a go for the throat. But certain times with this one, it could be a little sneaky. And the other nice thing in our deck as far as synergy, when I use the bargain mechanic, if I have that a roll on the Hex Mage, I don't want it to be a 1-1. One, one. Now it all of a sudden pops up to a 3-2. So there's that little ability with it. We have Lord Skidder's Blessing. Again, makes our deck a little slower. So not full on aggro, but it should give us a little bit of value. And it's another little trick we have, turn two, to put on the Spiteful Hex Mage. So now we actually have a 4-3 coming at them by doing that, and now hopefully draw some cards. Charming Scoundrel, absolutely love this card. Phenomenal, all-star, put it in all my aggro decks. So much versatility. Do I need that treasure? Do I wanna draw a card late game because I'm behind? Whatever you need, it kind of suits the bill for it. Little hasty threat. Godric, having so much fun with this. Normally, I might wanna bump this up to three copies, but I don't want too many three drops, and I think Gix in a style deck like this is too good. There is a good chance you could go turn one, you drop something. Turn two, you do another two one drops. Turn three, we're coming in with three creatures, potentially drawing those three cards. That's kind of our value engine to refill our hand with Lord Skitter. So unlike Mono Red, who's gonna have that extra burn to the face, we're hoping late game to get that extra card draw to be able to take that victory away. And then Sheldred, gotta sneak this in there, right? We have Black, how do you not play with Shelly? Just such a great four drop. So once again, Unlike Mono Red that's gonna burn them out late, our hope is we're super aggressive, we hurt them, we force them to use all their kill spells, and then late game we drop Sheldred to hopefully drain them for the rest of the life there. So that is the plan. We got another aggro one coming. I'm just kind of in love with aggro right now and really trying to find the different ways we could play with it. If you haven't already done so, please go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and leave some comments. Let me know what you think of this deck and make sure you stay to the end of this video where I give you my final thoughts and let you know what Jiu Jitsu belt I think this deck deserves. So let's go ahead and hit the ladder and try out some Rakdos aggro. Ooh, not a great hand. All pain lands and no creatures, so let's mulligan that. This we can keep. Hate to lose one of our lands, but I would like to kill one, one kill spell. Nice curve if we drop it, so we'll keep. Drop the land. And Swift Spear. We could always go Treasure, actually, right? That'll ensure it. So if we don't draw the land right now, probably go with the Treasure. Hate to do that, though. Love to just see a land, okay. Hmm. Maybe just a Swift Spear for now. Okay, we'll go treasure. So what this is gonna at least provide, if we get the land, we could go Godric and Swift Spear so it becomes a dragon.
Not much to think about here. You're not gonna block. Oh, you know what else I never noticed on this board is look at that behind your avatar. I've played with the toilet, the door. All right, let's go ahead and end turn. See what kind of mono red they are running here. Good chance it's a heavy on the Godric and people like the Epicure. I'm not a big fan of that. I know it's a thing that will trigger it, but I just don't think it's needed. Let's see if they go treasure as well or... Okay, they do go treasure. And a little stick, so probably a play with fire hanging out. I guess it could always be a monstrous rage as well. I guess there was no reason to leave back Charming Scoundrel, right? We probably should have just tacked in if they wanted to trade off, we're fine with it. I do find it funny they told me my go and now they're gonna take time. Wow, I would not have just popped the treasure right away like that. Yeah, we'll take it. Oh, we get the land. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. So we go Swift Spear into Godric. Nice amount of damage in now. All right. The nice thing here is none of their creatures are going to be bigger than a 3-3, so we don't need to bargain anything for this to still be a premium kill spell. The goal here is to see how many games we're happy with this being a candy grapple or wish we actually had the go for the throat. Oh, okay. Duh, duh, duh. I was like, how did that become a 4-4 four, four? off of that? Okay. All right, this is nice. Only problem is now we can't kill Godric. After I just said, we'll be able to kill all of them. Hmm. Yeah, we swing all in. We'll let them do their chump blocks. And we'll trade right there. We're fine with that. Part of me would love to use this now to get a big hit in though, right? If we killed one, two, four, six, nine, ten. It's still not lethal. So we'd rather clear up something on their battlefield next turn for a bigger hit. Because next turn, they're going to have to leave back Godric, I would assume. Unless they're thinking lethal. Two spells. This goes to five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. All right, they're taking all of this. We could have made them take three more. Again, it wouldn't have mattered for lethal. So we're leaving this back in case they try and swing in for lethal. Because if they go all in, they would have to tap out and go all in to get lethal on us. And we would be able to at least use this killer creature and on the crack back, we kill them. So the fun thing about this is they're probably, unless they just think they have the lethal, they're going to hold back. We then will be able to shrink their Godric and that's just a little 1-1 one -one blocker for them. Decimate their board. Don't get lethal in yet, but they won't have anything to come back at us for. Fun matchup though with Mono Red. Squee, nice draw. Celebration. How was that celebration? Okay, let's count. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Pass. Resolve. Pass. Let's see if they go with the extra. Interesting, interesting. If I was them, you're not going lead. Okay, I was going to say, don't pump it up that one. The reason I say that is you at least want to put questions in my head. Do you have a play with fire? Do you have a monstrous rage? What is it in your hand? Oh, this is nice. We go with the treasure. 
treasure token. Play with fire, can't kill this. Swing in. Go ahead and kill their blocker. They have to use a play with fire right now before these grow. And still, you won't be able to block enough. Wow, what a good game that was right there. That really fun, intriguing one against Mono Red. I feel a salty rope coming. Junior! I'm waiting! Oh, good for them. They let us just take it home. I win. Gone against this man a couple times. NTG first supporter here. All right. Tricky, tricky. Obviously, obviously, right, we got to go with the one. Yeah. Get the one damage in next time. And Swiss Spear in. All right, so next one, we're going to go Evolve Sleeper. Then you play the Hex Mage. You put the curse roll onto the Evolve Sleeper, which is already a 1-1. One, one. All right. And let's make sure we do it in the order I actually said. Then next turn, we are ready to pop off. And put it right there. Swing in. All right, so next turn, they're probably going to tap out, right? Because they want their bonus. Love it if they swing in with a 3-3. Three, three. We then have a kill spell into a monstrous rage as well. Unfortunately, we are completely out at that moment. All right, so they get the bonus, so they're probably just gonna make a treasure. Yep. We do have to worry about the play with fire still. That is a risk. I think we can take care of him now. They do have better targets though. Let's just swing in, see what they do. Okay. Monstrous Rage. Wow, they just are done right then and there, okay. I think we still had some interesting decisions to make right there, right? We have the aggressive line. Pump this up now and get the Evolved Sleeper, or are we worried about them dropping their own three drop and we want to save the kill? Probably we would want to go with the aggressive line, right? We are the aggressor right now. We're about to get in a bunch of damage. What is that? Seven damage we're about to get in. So doing the pump right now, playing our creature, not having a nice wide board for them is probably the smarter play. Wait for the next turn when they actually either have their Kamano or some other creature and Candy Grapple. But it still would have been interesting. Would have liked to see that thing play out. All right, two good games so far. First one where I'm not loving this. We're on the draw with only one creature. Man, we draw any more land, we're just so unhappy. I think I'm mulligan that, go down. Bad lands. All right, we'll keep... We're gonna get rid of the Hex Mage. Ugh, this is rough. Okay, fairies. I've not got to go in fairies for a while now. All right, do nothing. We need to draw this land, though. Man, an untapped land would be so huge. Ooh, gross. There goes Gix. Whoa, monstrous rage, really? Intriguing. Kamano's gonna come down. Double Swift Spear next turn. Even if we get the mana for a Gex, it's not coming. All right. Especially because we know they probably have some counters and things like that. All right. 
Swiss spear. This is the one you would want to counter if you were to counter one. They don't do it. Ooh, they do have a flash one, right? They have a bunch of flash creatures. So we're only going to swing in with that swift spear. They also have fairy fencing for one. Fairy fencing for one. All right, so this swift spear is not going to attack. I'm not going right into their little trap. Okay, didn't have it. But they have a lot of tutus that they could flash in there. And I don't want that. I want to keep my creature around. All right. I'll be so happy if they don't put it on. Attacks one more for discard a card. Ah, they do put it there. All right, smart, smart, smart. Although, you know I have candy grapple. So we're just gonna get our damage in now, bargain. Hit him for four. I cannot believe they got rid of a spell stutter. You know about my Gix and you got rid of that. That's intriguing. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is unbelievable to me. That's gonna now put me right in this thing. Take action twice. Sleeper. Don't get the untapped land though. Okay, so we gotta wait on it. And I think that was a huge mistake, especially, let's go back. You had the ego drain. You had the hand knowledge. Now you could just sit there and wait and play around. Mine. I don't think the messenger is that right of card. I don't even think it belongs in the deck. Ugh. Okay, that does hurt us, but we got our value out of it. We're gonna swing in now. Because now if they flash in, we have something to kill. All right, end the turn. We'll wait to pump this up until later. Very interesting putting these in a fairy deck too. I personally, I love this card. I called it my number one card of the set, but I don't believe it belongs in a fairy deck. Fairy you wanna be trying to do is flash instant as much as possible. I do like quick study though in the deck. Not necessarily on their turn though. They're definitely playing this deck a little. See, again, a flash creature. Why are you not using the surprise? Go ahead and pass. So now we're going to get to pump up our creature. Then on our turn, we'll go ahead and kill their 2 2. And I think that's one of the. Oh my gosh, they're attacking too. I think that's one of the keys when you are playing fairies though. It's, it's the old school rogue deck. You're leaving your opponent on edge the whole time. You're making them question every single move they make. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. Oh, and we're coming in. All right, I think they're just way too far behind now to be able to come back from this. I mean, we have three lethal threats sitting here. Okay, flash something back. Kill one of my creatures. Yeah. Man, I love that avatar. One of my favorite ones. All right. Oh, slow again. Oh, let's think about this. Can we handle this? It gets so sweet, though. All right, we're gonna try it. We're going completely anti-aggro. I think I only have two of these in my entire deck, right? Maybe I put in four. I hope I didn't put in four. I really screwed up if I did put in four. I gotta double check that. I think I may have done my same land list that I do with a normal Rakdos build, and this is aggro, and I like two copies when I'm going aggro. All right, three out of four mono red is what we're going against, 75%. Okay, that's good. Now, we're gonna go Hex Mage. I know it's not the mana efficient play here. Go and pass. The reason we're doing it though is we want Godric to be able to pop off in the future. Godric might even have to wait a little bit. 
All right, resolve. Yeah, cause Charming Scoundrel, Monstrous Rage. Ooh, that's tempting. See if they're just trying to go burn spell. They have the burn spell. We're going to save it. Okay, just a Swifty. They attack in. We're going to use our Monstrous Rage as well. And they do. Thank you. All right, go ahead and take you out. Mana efficiency, let's get this down, and then hopefully we do celebration next turn, plus a kill spell. So we're getting seven in now. If they do have their lightning strike, right, then they're not gonna get the bonus with their Kamano. Sweet, excellent, excellent. Now we get to kill that. We hope they don't leave it back as a blocker either. They're going all in here. Ooh, that is sweet, though, too, right? We can't let Squee stay around, right? We're already at 12. All right. We want the bonus. Oh, man, we go Treasure, though. We go Kamano as well. Now, long run, I like this better. I really, really do. Wait a minute. That's... 10, 11, oh, 12. We are close. Too risky. That's two, three, four, five, eight. They could do four some other way. So let's not risk it. Just go ahead and get in for the 10. We're going to end the turn. If they have monstrous rage, that is the only thing here. All right, let's play this out and see what they do. I might even let Squee attack me because that's one more point. Because we're coming in for lethal if they don't deal with our creatures. So if they think they have 12 right now, we're going to wait until the last second to pop off our candy grapple. So that's the one thing. If this was a go for the throw, we wouldn't even be concerned, right? We know we could kill Squee no matter what. But now a Monstrous Rage saves it. And that is the thing that they could potentially beat us. Always got to be thinking, what can they do to actually win this game? We are way ahead. We have them down to three. We should have them on their back foot where they're going to have to stay back and block. Okay. That is all tapped out. We're still going to wait for attackers. Okay. We're at eight. Let's think. One, two, three, five. Let them swing all in because they think they have it. Oof. Just swing right in right now. Take care now. Bye-bye then. Good game. So three games we've had against Mono Red out of four. We're able to win all of them. So right now, this deck is looking good. Having that nice little bit of removal. And we haven't even got to drop Sheldred. And that was kind of going to be my ace in the hole, I thought. Get a lot of damage in. And then all of a sudden, whoa, where does Sheldred come from? Make him use up all their removal. Haven't even needed it yet. Oof. Not getting the absolute most amazing lands. We're on the draw. We're going to try it. We've pulled it off somehow these past few games. Mono red again. All right. Man, if we could go 4-0 against them, this is going to be impressive. Um, You would love the Kamano down. I think it's too risky. If we drew that land, obviously, like we kept because we're on the draw. We were hoping that first card was going to be a land. All right, not the super aggressive start, though. I mean, yes, a chick is always nice, but they're not putting too much on. Okay, Monstrous Rage, that's putting it on us. Glad to see more of that, too. Okay, don't want to do the pain land yet. Do we even go? Yeah, we go treasure. We're going to get Sheldred down as soon as possible. 
uh, treasure token. We'll leave him back as a blocker. We're the ones with the low life right now, so let's go ahead and trade. Okay, no matter what, though, we're dropping to 10. So he's not going to be happy to see this. Man, now if you could have got Kamano down though, getting this to six toughness is so crucial because we are not blocking right now. We are not taking a lightning strike. Our only way out of this game right now is to start drawing off a Sheldred. Yep, just not even bothering with that business. Phew, another monstrous rage. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, because that would have killed us. Interesting. Six. Take one pain. We can draw a card that way, though, too. I like that better. All right, let's see what we draw first. Draw. Oh, wow. Doesn't even stick around for it. Okay, so Sheldred now did Sheldred things. That is what we expect. But that would have, again, interesting game we could have. We draw a card. We go to eight. We're going to play something. Probably going to put down the Hexp uh, sp or Spiteful Hex Mage because that's already a 1-1. One, one. So we put it over there. Now we have a 3-2. We could use that to block in case they have a Monstrous Rage. Still not using Sheldred to block. Then we have a, a roll token. So now Lord Skitter could start coming down or we play our Gix, swing in, gain some more life. So yeah, we probably could have won, but there's a chance they could have got aggressive and got us on that. We are 4-0 and against Mono Red. Unbelievable right now. Pumped up. I <laughs> love it. 777, lucky numbers and used to be good. Uh... Oh, we have the Kamano into the Godric, which we love. We are keeping this one all day. Finally, I hand that. Oh my goodness, look at those sleeves. I like that from afar. Looks super cool. All right. So finally, hand where we love the curve, right? This will be the one we end up losing. The other ones we get two tap lands to start with, and we somehow get that victory. All right, Mono White Humans. Good. I haven't gone against this enough. Happy to see it. Oh, playing the red, right? We can't double drop. Okay, we don't want to take pain though. So no matter what, Godric is coming down and the turn after that, we'll be able to use Celebration again. Okay. Nice. Godric enters. Question is, how do we attack here? If they attack all. You know, if they want to trade the Evolve Sleeper for that, I'll do it. Seems a little crazy, right? Because it could keep growing throughout this game, but. Open no Brutal Cathar right now. Want that celebration one more time. Ossification, just as bad. <laughs> All right. Now kind of regretting that sleeper move. Okay, here we go. Lord Skitter. Let's go here. Get in for the two. Ooh, actually, it's probably a mistake, right? They're gonna be incentivized to kill the sleeper anyway, so you might as well put it on the Kamano. Yeah, I think that was a mistake, right? We can naturally grow this on our own, so you already know this is gonna be one of their main targets. So a couple little misplays this game, don't like that. All right, well, we're gonna to have to ditch our Wicked Roll anyway. Not, I doubt they'll attack in, All right? Yeah, okay. Uh, pump you up. All right, I'd love to get a nice hit off of these draws. Another Lord Skitter. We will take that. So, another Lord Skitter. Put it right here. And we want to keep these on if possible. 
So let's swing in with both. Get this damage in first. Okay, double block, double block, no. So now we don't even have to use the bargain mechanic. And now we get rid of that. And now we at least have two creatures. We're gonna draw three cards next turn, unless they're somehow able to kill both of my creatures. Hey, dragon for dragon. Ossification. Okay, so there goes Evolve Sleeper. So that little ma mistake we made earlier, putting it on the wrong one, isn't affecting us yet. A little ping, don't have another one. Don't you do it. Okay. Might as well ping me for one. You're not gonna block. All right, so at least we still get the draws, which is absolutely key here. Two Kamanos, not, not great draws. Drop him down, swing in for three. This might be the last turn this is getting in. Mm, any need to play that? No, let's put a little worry, at least in their heart. There's nothing we need six lands for at the moment. Nice. Okay. Now we have to be a, a little worried. We need removal, we need removal. Come on, two cards. Sheldred this is good. We could do a Sheldred. We're about to do a Gigantor Sheldred. Do we even bother swinging in? They attack all. These are gonna grow. Use the ability to kill it anyway. Yeah, I say we just hit him for the three. Ooh, actually, they have lethal if they have a removal spell, right? Three, six, that's 10 they're gonna do us. So again, probably another mistake, probably should go the safe route, but even if we have to leave it back as a blocker, ugh, I mean, still in trouble. All right, so they're gonna go up to 11, but we get rid of that. We shrink, okay, shrink all their creatures. They're down at eight. If they have a removal, oh no, that's why I don't attack. That was drawing me my cards. Oopsie. Oh, Brutal Cathar. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Ugh. All right, we're on the, the plan of Drain them. Man, we just not playing 100% smart here, okay? I wasn't even thinking about my little token. Yeah, we got a pass. Okay, they're on the top deck game though. <sighs> That's gonna find answers. What a good top deck that was. They can't do it to us this turn. See if they found it. Okay, that's big though. They're gonna grow quite a bit. Still can't attack. Uh, too much land. We're gonna pass. They're gonna drop to four. Or do they wanna search for a card right off the bat? Because this doesn't save them. Okay, they drew. Everybody's gonna get awful large though. Yep. Seven, six. Oh. Hello. Block. Man, we gotta do some chumps, right? Maybe we go to... Now, that's actually more important to kill. So they have two creatures and they'll go to two. So if we get a haster, we want to save one. So any haste creature off the top or any kill spell and we win this game. Okay, two blocks. And really, we, we, we threw this away, folks. This is 100% my fault. Okay, candy grapple though. We're gonna end up getting away with all this. Unbelievable.
All right. Uh, yeah. Don't need it anyway. So right here. Yes. Auto pay. We top deck it after making mistakes. Never punished. GG's. Block that and then the drain them for two right here. Oh, unless you have an instant. Okay, I was gonna say, do you have some type of instant removal you just decided not to use last turn? Wow, still undefeated and did not play well on that one. We probably did not deserve that victory right there, folks. Learn from that game and don't make that mistake. That tap land again. All right, we'll keep it. Oh. Plan this one until I get a loss. So right now we're, we're just riding. The, oh, yes. Nice, nice, nice. Man, we're getting some lucky top decks. Really? Just, so this is going to be one of those ones where people are going to see this video and I'm bare minimum going to be six and one in it. And people are like, oh my gosh, this deck is awesome. Let me go out and craft it. Uh, wait until the outro. Let me tell you my true feelings. Because if you've really been paying attention to these, we've gotten a little lucky in some of them. Enchantments. So that's who's going to take us out now. All right, so normally I would say let's go treasure, let's rush out all Sheldred, but you know enchantments is always going to be running all sorts of removal, so. Let's go Swift Spear. We'll put it right there. Go ahead and pass. I mean, against a normal deck, you know that's just not running tons of removal. You rush out Sheldred. You get it down as early as possible. The thing is, and with this situation, we want them to get rid of some of their removal spells before we drop her. Yeah, we'll block. See what removal they, or I mean, what pump they have. Very interesting. What is this we have? One minute flash, enchantment. Enters the battlefield and change your first strike until end of turn. Okay. Interesting. Treasure. I don't wanted to kill that, but enchantment, he would just get it back. So more important, the only reason we're bargaining is so our Swift Spear will grow. I mean, ever so slightly though, but still worth it. Get rid of it when we can. Still way behind though, because they got a 5-4 Trampler. Interesting new little tech going into a deck. I like to see it though. People are trying out new things. Hey, doggo. Man, maybe we do just should have rushed out the Sheldred. All right, now we got to go treasure. And because they're just going to sit back next turn, we attack with them now. We know they're not going to block. All right. Boy, a lot of damage coming in here. I don't think we have a way out of this one. Oh, yeah, we definitely don't have a way out of this one now. All right. We'll get rid of one of their enchantments. All right, we're down to two. They got a flyer that is enough to kill us. Ah, uh, <laughs> I mean, even if we attack in to kill this, they then put it on their bigger creature. Yeah, they got us. Good game. All right, well, enchantments finally gets us and I'm happy to see playing a little bit different. At least we saw one new card, things like that. Interesting they're playing these, so maybe they don't even have all the cards crafted. Just shows you how strong this deck is and you could still get a winner out of it, even if you're not spending all your rares and wild cards and things like that. Still, we had a pretty nice little run there. 
Welcome back, and what a fun one that was. We ended up going six and one, very impressed with our record. But remember, you always have to delve into those games and take a look at them. There's a few of them we had some misplays. There's a few of them maybe we got a little lucky in spots. Realistically, I think this deck is probably a four and three. As far as what Jiu Jitsu belt I think it is, I'm gonna give it a purple belt. I think it's better than the Boris aggro version, at least that I went with. I think it'll get about the same win percentage as Gruel, but it is no mono red aggro. It is is not as quick. I do like some of the versatility and things like that, but the mana base, I'm going to talk about that in a minute. We need to fix that as well. Also, my gameplay could have been fixed a little bit as playing, but I think we have a core here and something you could really work with, manipulate, and play around with. So number one, big mistake, you do not put four Haunting Ridge in this deck. Okay, I do this typically in a lot of my other Rakdos decks because I'm playing very heavy black and I wanna make sure every single time I'm able to get that. So this, I like an aggro deck just having two copies and then I'll probably just bump up one swamp, one mountain. So we'll go ahead and make that change right here and this change will show up in my list as well. Cause you saw that when you sit there and you have two Haunted Ridge, and you're on the play, that sucks. We can't do anything. We're an aggro deck. We gotta be doing something right away. Now, even though I say this is not as good as Mono Red, we went 4-0 against it. That was fairly impressive. So it's not that we can't beat them. I'm just talking about thousands of games, overall win percentage. I just don't think it is quite there. I think it's a lot of fun. It's a nice little value engine. We didn't get to use Gix too much. We made a mistake with our Lord Skitters, okay? We have to remember, yes, we're aggro and we wanna attack in, but we had the Kamano that had one of those rolls on it. We needed to sit back and wait. We have to force them to kill those to allow us to just keep drawing our cards because that is really our ace in the hole. That is how we get our victories is by that value and the extra card draw late. Sheldred, what did we get that? Once or maybe twice down? So we didn't get to see it too much. It doesn't mean Sheldred doesn't belong in the stack, okay? It is still gonna be all-star. We saw they had to take care of all our other threats. It's just most of the time we didn't even need Sheldred. And that is an awesome thing to say. And then if you have to have it, then great. That's how we're gonna get those victories. And we did at least get one victory from Sheldred. Overall, really fun. And if you're an aggro mage and you enjoy it, you probably like enjoying playing different ones. If you already have the core, you probably already have a lot of these cards, then great. You could play with all sorts of different color combinations. The only one you're not seeing for me and I don't really see fitting in is Is It. I think Is It is a totally different build that you're gonna do, a lot more spell slinger, things like that. So it doesn't really mimic that mono red deck that I've kind of been doing in the last few decks that I've been building, but I think all of them, if you have this kind of base, you're going to have something good. You're going to have something great. And I've had a ton of fun playing with them. So I think it is time though, to move on to a little bit more mid range. I don't know if I'm quite ready to go into control. Some people have been asking me comments. Is control not good right now? I think Control is just as good as it was before. Esp Control, Azorius Control, they are still fantastic decks out there. The only reason you're not seeing me play much Control is I don't think there's been a ton of change, okay? I think a lot of those Control decks are using the same cards or the same old cards, but they're mixing and matching. So maybe they're making their curve a little smaller to deal with all the aggro in the format, but it's not new cards from Wild the Eldraine. A lot of those Control decks that are the best, they only have one or two different ones. So until our next video, never forget, Forget you're an ace.